So I had to run down here to one of my customers' house and put up decorations like I do every year. And this is how I do my scarecrows and pumpkins. <laughs> Just throw them up there like that. Everybody seems to like it. Then I always put the twins out front. <laughs> Everybody loves the twins. Let's get this party started. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking mess. Oh, I've got to get this thing cleaned out today. But first, we're going to the lake and do a GPS run. Tracking the mud in. Uh. All right, first things first. Oh, God. See if there's any shinies. And then take the GPS run. Man, it's so nice down here when the water's nice and clear. But I can't resist the shiner thing. I've got three in the bucket. Hopefully they're still alive. So I'm gonna do a couple casts real quick. I got six. Beautiful. Oh man, I love the way this motor sounds. Get them crazy new carbs. Oh baby, I ate that egg McMuffin now. I gotta drop the chalupa. Yeah, I know, too much information. Now, back to the lake. <laughs> All right, where was I? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. So we should be looking at the same weight from what, you know, the last time I did a GPS. I usually try to find the longest stretch of water for this, but let's go right across, I guess. That's five miles an hour. Let's see where idle speed is at. Four. I like three, four for trolling. Yeah, there's three. That's where I'm at. All right, here we go. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. You know, people say take, put the canopy down, and I've done that. It never seems to make a really big difference. I still think it's in the deck. It's, it's so heavy. When I start to trim the motor, man, it's all, almost out of the water instantly. The, the boat's sitting like this, but. I'm sure I, I had the deck in here when I did the other run. Huh. Oh, let me see if I got water in this damn thing. I shouldn't. I mean, normal. 
from the rain the other day. Pretty much nothing in here. Yeah, I can't think of any extra weight that would be in here. Huh. Try it again. I'm having a fit with the camera situation again today. What the heck is going on? 33 was the top speed I could get. I don't know when it bumped off. The camera shakes too much. It'll cut itself off to protect the hard drive. Anyway, I'm hitting 33. I'll double check everything. And uh, could just be settings. I, as far as I'm concerned, this thing should be going faster than 33 with those carbs. Last time, it's 36, bump at 37, I'm almost sure. Anyway, check everything out. Let me get this thing loaded up, everything. And I, I'm, you know, I don't have a problem with 33, it feels great. Unless the GPS is off today for some reason. I don't know. You know, how accurate are these things? Could it be off? Can it be off? I don't know. I'll check my, my carb settings. They might be... My butterflies might not be opening all the way. Oh, hitting the dock. <laughs> that ain't good. Anyway, I'm thrilled to death. I don't care. All right, so I'm going to load up everything. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take one of those six shiners I got and throw one out there. So this is full boat. Three batteries. Trolling motor. Two seats. Uh, that battery situation is just temporary until I get a longer wire on the trolling motor uh, tackle boxes uh, probably close to five gallons of gas rod and reels and me oh we're gonna get my get my uh, shiners and get on out of here he 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 she starts off. The one thing I feel, uh, didn't bring is the uh, fish finder. Man, I got all this weight on this side of the boat. Those two batteries, the tank, me. Too much. The boat's really leaning. So I only lost one mile 
with all this weight. Anyway, trying to figure out where the freaking fish. You know what I'm thinking? I'll go over to the cove, throw a couple shiners out, drift around, see if anything happens. Or maybe the small lake. stick these damn, I've asked this before, why do they put these PVC pipe pieces in the ground like that? Anybody know? It's a good place to come if you need some PVC pipe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put the anchor down right here, I think. Man, let's catch some fish, man. Well, the last shiner didn't last long. I'm going to troll around, flip this rattle trap around, see if anything happens. That's what I like about them little shiners, man. They just don't last. The bigger ones last. Ugh. Every move you make. I've had three hits on this this bank right here, and it just missed a nice one. And Mr. Otter is over there swimming around somewhere. He was out of the water a minute ago. But I'm gonna try this bank again and see. I still got this whole line here too. This is where that guy was sitting. I don't know why he left. Well, three bites. And a couple of little stupid brim pecking at it bites. There he is. Something pecked at it. There he is. Come on. Oh man. I did it again. Stabbed myself in the chest. <laughs> it was a you know, one of these little guys. Man, look at it. Twisted the, the damn worm around. So, I put Mr. Rat... Oh. Put Mr. Rattle Trap on the ugly stick. The main reason why is because that's got 20 pound test on it and it's new line. My other rod, I don't trust that rattle trap on that old line. I don't want to lose a $12 rattle trap the first time I use it. So... Do a little trolling. I got a few more hits over there on by the lily pads, but nothing big. It was all, you know, bumpity bumpity bump bump. I mean, I'd love to catch something before the day runs out. God, this is terrible. It's been a long time since I've caught anything. Well, just made it. It's not, uh, you know, nasty storm. It just I checked the. App weather forecast, app weather thing, whatever. AccuWeather app. And so you know, this rain, not thunder and lightning and all that. But you know what? It's freaking three o'clock, and you can't say you didn't freaking try. For God's sake! All right. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. I kind of doubt it. 
it's not cleaned enough. Oh yeah, I can see that. I think you can see. It says 45D. Now this is the jet. One of them. 45D. According to the schematic on MarineEngine.com. 1992 60 Horse Johnson. 44D. Uh -huh. So, boil it down. Lost three miles an hour, but the, the thing runs great. I love the way it runs. I'm hitting 33 solid, which it could be 33.9. Who the hell knows, right? But it gets to that 33 pretty freaking quick. Whereas before, when I would do a GPS, what I would do, I'd get way over in that corner, get me a long shot going, and slowly trim up the motor for high speed. And I, when I first put the 60 on, it was 39 plus, and I had to back it off. It was just getting too squirrely. So then I put the heavy Corian board casting deck in, this orange stuff back there. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. And uh, lost three miles an hour that way. 36 bumping 37. So then put the 70 horse carbs on. Expect to pick up a few miles back. And no, I lost three. So where I'm at is are those carbs original 70 horse carbs? What is the high speed orifice or jet size in them? Because when I do the carb cleaning, I always show the, the orifice with the flashlight test. And they don't look a whole lot different than the 60s over here. But I won't know until I pull it out because you're only talking, you know, thousands of an inch. So I'm gonna find out. Don't know if I'll pull one off today because I'm I'm so backed up. I got plans for this 55. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll get it figured out. I gotta run down there, check the boat, get my gas tank. <sighs> oh yeah baby, you know the channel. Don't forget to subscribe.